Is it talk or you talk? <laughs> I don't know. I guess welcome back to the channel. Yeah. Neither one of us know who's going to talk. <laughs> no, no, we're both. You guys leave us speechless. We just, sure, here we are. And we're here. So uh, welcome back. We're going to show you a quick video of what Chad's been up to mm -hmm. and uh, where we're at. It's the... Uh, Big progress. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, yeah. it is. So we're going to see some of the steps, follow some of your yeah, time gonna, lapse and how to's. Gonna, yeah, going to do some things to hopefully help a few of uh, you viewers out if you're ever in, in my situation or brave enough to. Don't do it. No? No. Why not? I don't know. Just saying. You can't learn <laughs> without doing it. Why? Because. These are not fun at yeah. all. Scotch bright pads are not fun. Yeah, yeah. can't wait. Fingers <laughs> are gonna hurt. <laughs> Never look forward to this part of it, but if you don't do the prep work, it ain't gonna turn out the way you think it's gonna turn out. And I'm gonna tell you, got about five thousand dollars in paint, so don't waste it. Yeah, you no do kidding. it right. So no you're gonna have to get a second job to pay for that. Typical, I'm used to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Yep. Stay tuned. All right. So I just want to show you guys kind of this, the next stage in the process here. We've got this all body work. These were where the bolts were. Now, this isn't like an overabundance. Everybody probably would think, well, that's a lot of Bondo in there. It's not. It's not that thick. So uh, I guess. At that point, we we can put some primer on it and then see what we got, sand it off, make sure the body works good. And at that point, we can put some purple on it. So uh, I've got a, before I do that, I've painted the back sides of everything. We're, we're on batch number eight this morning, trying to get this purple to match, but it matches close enough because this really goes like this. So you won't see it anyways. I need to bolt them up. I need to bolt these back up. The back side's got paint on them. You want to paint the back side. You don't want to put fresh metal back there. That's, that's going to make it rust way easier than you think. And you, you don't, you don't want to waste money like that. So we are going to Bolt this back up so when we prime, basically I can sand that off and have a nice a nice surface to put some, some paint on. We do have dash panels are out of it right here. We're going to probably paint those. Took all those out yesterday. And we started taping it off. I feel um, like you're going backwards. Yeah. Yeah, it can't get tore down any further now. So <laughs> we uh, we're gonna continue forward progress as putting it together after it's painted. I want to get I want to get this in paint yet this week and get it moved out of here over to the other side so I can start painting deck plates. Uh, what else we got? Shock box cover. We've got some front end parts, flip kit. All that has to be painted. And if I have the truck over there out of paint, we can just keep putting it together, throwing it on the truck as we paint it. That way it doesn't get scratched. Everything's pre-fit like we talked about in the last video. So we uh, basically don't have a risk when we when we get things painted. Then we got, I don't know, we're <laughs> playing tag or something. Kids are busy today. Are you busy today? It's morning. You got all sorts of. I told energy. him we had to look happier on video because he's looked so crabby the last few. So at least he's following through for me. Right? He's excited because <laughs> we're about, about to throw some paint on. Maybe tomorrow. I hope. Let's hope we get a color match today. All right. Well, we'll time lapse everything, kind of keep you guys in the loop. But this so far is what we got going on. Good deal. Like you said, he'll start taping off so I can walk around to the other side of the truck and you can see. He's doing paper with a lot of it instead of plastic just yep. to keep her sealed tight. Yep. If you get plastic on here, what happens is you get air under the plastic. It's it's so hard to keep 
I don't really want to take these air cleaners off. I've got them gutted, but you, you, it's so hard to keep the air from getting underneath of the plastic. And when that happens, when you've got air underneath the plastic, in that air in a paint booth, there's paint. So you're going to have overspray everywhere. And if we can tape it off and keep every bit of possibility of anything getting under it and just take our time. I'm, I'm very picky as Lisa knows. She, she asks yeah, to I help don't, all the time and I'm, nope, I'm, I'm doing it myself. I just, don't help tape. Just because. So, uh, we're going to get this taped off here in a couple hours and we'll, we'll get it primed and we'll just wait for the right color purple, which hopefully today I, I, I like to be optimistic. It, it takes a, uh, some time because it's it's got a certain brand of paint. It's Exalta from the factory. It's the brand of paint. And my paint store in town doesn't have Exalta, nor a way to cross-reference a paint color. So they got to take a picture of it. And we've got to change some tints here and there to get it to work. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, Sometimes you want to pull your hair out, but it's something that, that I'm picky on. So it's got to match perfect. Good deal. Yeah. Well, we'll get taping. All right. Morning everyone, I <clears throat> just wanted to show you a little update. I've got the primer on. We are uh, gonna let that dry. You wanna let it dry. Um, if you rush primer, sandable primer, you will get sanding scratches through it. Now most of these body shops got bake cycles in their paint booth and this and that. I, I don't have that. So, Time is what I've got to allow. So this afternoon we're going to sand uh, just to prevent some sanding scratches coming back through. Things like that. Things that happen if you rush paint. So I just want to go ahead and show you what I've got going on. All right. So here it is. That is the frame. It looks really, really good. Right here. Remember how this was all like raw material, raw metal. It was really coarse. I sanded all that down for the most part, but then I, I just filled it, filled it with paint. And now I'll sand that all smooth and that'll, that'll look like a Corvette, folks. I'm telling you, it looks good. We did the tops of the leaf springs right here. These were pretty bad too. Anybody that's bought a new Pete has looked at that and said, oh boy. So we've got that done. We've got a little bit of work back here, which I expected, you know, you've got spots like this. That'll all sand out. That's what this primer is supposed to do. You sit with some 320 and, and, and all, all these imperfections, they come right out. That's what it's for. Do have a run right here. I don't know if you can see that. All that tells me is I got to paint real thick. Now, most painters say, oh, Ron, you know, you suck at painting. It doesn't matter with this stuff. You're sanding it anyways. So that's fine. We do have a few little imperfections here. Now, that was from the factory. Basically, what they do is, is they, this comes square. So they'll V this out, bend this tab down, and then they'll weld it. 
well, that's their grinding marks, I guess. We'll take that out. That's fine. This all looks good. This side looks good. Come down through here. Now, what I did all through here, you can't see any of that. None of it. And I'm going to tell you, at a truck show, this is the spot they look at right here. Everybody draws their eyes in here. And if that looks baby smooth, that's going to get you way ahead of everybody else. No bolt holes, no nothing. Got deck plates we got to do yet. But it all looks really good. I'm, I'm impressed. Even these spots here, they pulled out really nice. All right. Well, I'm flying Han Solo today just for a couple hours. So uh, Lisa's off doing some, uh, what do I call it? Info delivery slash stuff with the primrose. I don't know. Her and, her and Corey are off doing that. So I'm here doing my thing. Whoop. Hold on. I almost dropped you folks. You okay? All right. What do you think? Does the paint look good, Buster? Are you going to say anything? Did I leave you speechless? That's what I thought. What you doing? Is it fun? Sure. Oh. What? So we're here checking Chad out as he's sanding. <clears throat> Has everything primed the way it looks? Yep. Primed. Sand. And then we can paint. Got to scuff the whole thing front and back. But just taking all the imperfections that were left out of it. 320. Sand the primer off, but not all the way off. If you do your body work right, you'll have to do this one. Sometimes you got to go by and do it two, three times. Uh, I got it pretty, pretty good the first time. So I think, I think we're in luck. Hopefully we could put some paint on tomorrow. Maybe. Good. Well, and the good news is we have paint. Yeah, we and, have paint. And it matches. Matches. Life matches. is good. Cool. We uh, can carry on, but we got to get a painted before we go to Louisville on vacation. Yeah. Just to get, you know, one more step done, and then we could feel better about ourselves walking around down there saying, well, it's half finished, not finished at all. But do you realize we have three weeks when we get home? Yeah, it's way too much time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're drinking and working at the same time. Can I? No, not no. today. All right. It's well, looking good, though. Come, See that side over there? Yeah, it's coming along nice. She's, even the back end here, she's baby smooth. Yeah, it is. You don't want to be able to feel anything, and, and I, I don't. It's, it's pretty nice. Good. We got a couple little... Little waves, but we still got some finally to do yet. Go over it by hand. It'll be fixed. Cool. And then make it shiny. Let's get this thing out of here. Yes. Right? Yes. Paint it and then move it back over there to yep. to work on. We got that the maroon truck leaving today. We we worked on that the last couple of days. Got that ready for the team. Yeah. So this will probably go over there somewhere so we can continue on painting deck plates and shocks for the front. Uh, what else? A bunch of things. Yeah, well, the whole you're painting the whole front end yet too, right? Yeah, well, yeah. All that's got to get touched up. We had to close off some bolt holes here. So we'll touch that, but I'll go through and paint probably the leaf springs and everything. Just so it all looks good. You don't want to paint some things and not all of it. Cool. Yeah. It'll all match. It'll look nice. 
Good deal. Well, I'll let you get back to San and just thought I'd come yeah. make sure you weren't, you know, eating Twinkies and doing nothing back here. Twinkies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you a little bit. When you uh, get ready to paint, factory paint on a for sure Peterbilt, I don't know about Kenworth, but uh, I'm not cutting on Peterbilt here, but this is just the way they do things. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a little, little trick before you actually invest the money into putting, uh, paint on a, a new truck frame. Uh, this is part of the reason I repaint them brand new, but uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you. So if you look on the floor, there is paint chunks. And when I mean paint chunks, I mean paint chunks. What they are off of is the drive shafts. So if you get around all these yokes, none of the paint sticks. And for most, most of you, you've had this. And I'm gonna tell you, before you go ahead and paint these, please, 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 blow the paint off of this, and I'll show you uh, in a minute here. But um, this is, is, is kind of oily. They don't prep these, if you notice, they're shiny. The paint's not going to stick to that. There's no primer, no etch primer, no nothing. And like I said, it's it's just the way Peterbilt does things, and I'm not cutting on them. I mean, they build 180 trucks a day, and uh, it's all about speed for them. So, literally, I blew the paint right off of that with uh, with with right here. I'll show you. I've got now. It looks like an interesting tool, but. My brother-in-law made me this, thank you, Ryan, quite a few years ago, and I'll tell you what, it's just a, a little tip that lets a little air out. So you, you'll go through and just pull the trigger when it's hooked up, start blowing around, and you'll find a spot where the paint will come loose and you'll blow it literally all off. I didn't sand any of that off. That, that all come off with air air pressure. So you're gonna want you're gonna want one of these. Definitely gonna want a set of these. Now like I said if you're gonna spend the money on frame paint, please 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 do that first. Run a Scotch Bright pad, uh, basically one of these. It's a little thin, she, she's used up, but I don't know if I got, oh yeah, over here. I'll show you a new one, what they look like. One of these pads, maroon. Just run one of them over the drive shaft, uh, wipe it off first with some grease and wax remover, and then uh, scuff it. Throw some match primer on it before you put your color on. You'll be way happier than if you were to just spray over it and in two weeks, all your paint falls off your, your drive shafts and you got a nice cherry frame otherwise. So I, uh, I hope you, uh, hope you kind of get what I'm, what I'm saying here. And, and I'm just trying to help you guys out. Uh, just a, another little step in, in uh, painting the frame. We should have everything, everything taped off this afternoon here and maybe put some color on tonight. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys tuned. All right, guys. It's almost ready for paint. Chad has been busy today. He finished scuffing. I helped a little bit this morning. Had to run and get the rest of the paint products and snuck off for a little volleyball tournament because he's pretty particular on how he preps everything for paint and I understand that completely. So he's underneath now covering up the DPF canister on the other side and I think we are ready to roll. Chad are we ready to go with this? What do you think? <coughs> 
Are you with what? me? Are you <laughs> too old for this. I'm too old for this. This was too your idea. Too old for this. This was your idea. Yeah, right. Why do I always have the dumb ideas? And that's why I left you alone today to fix it. Oh. Tape corners. Otherwise, they'll tear. So as you can imagine, Chad's first comment when I get home this afternoon is, my fingers hurt. Well, yeah, there's a lot of real estate here of scuffing and sanding. Yeah. But you did great. You tried. Yeah. You tried. So and now the whole world is going to see me in action. Oh, boy. Not in this video. No. Next video. Next video. Yeah. Check these yeah, we shoes. We've got to keep everybody in suspense. Check them yeah. shoes out. They're, they're black. They're not going to look like that when he's done. They're going to be purple. <laughs> At least I think. I think that, well, I hope that's purple paint you're putting on there. Yeah. So, far. so uh, everything's ready to go, scuffed. Yeah, we got to blow this out a little bit here yet. Get some dust out of here and get the fans going. This is like beautiful compared oh, yeah, to what we here. Yeah, the 386. We oh. painted that next to the oil barrel, next to the waste. It was a mess. Yeah, yeah, not That's the conditions you want to do it in, but I don't know. This is this is a step up. We'll we'll make it we'll make it nice, a lot easier than what we have in the past. It's just we got to get some lighting yet, but I'll make it work for now. Good. We're gonna do it to it. Redneck style, but hey, that's it's not the way we're redneck style. Well, this isn't a fancy paint booth. No, but it comes with experience. That's true. I'm 42 and I've been painting since I was 15. Yeah. So you're that's old. That's a lot of years. Yeah. A lot of different paints. We're gonna try a new paint, and we're hopefully gonna make it make it look nice. It's always it's always a struggle when you change paints because you're not used to spraying them. But I'll figure it out. We always do. We just, uh, in order to get the color match we needed, that's the direction we had to head, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. we'll uh, put you to the test and see how it goes. Yeah. That's all I needed for a test. I thought I was done with school. Nope. Not at no? all. All right. Let's get this blowed out and ready. Yes. All right. I think uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope we explained enough and, and helped. But we've got everything taped off, don't we? <laughs> it's taped. It's ready to go. It is ready. We're gonna we're gonna see purple in the next video. Sorry, we got to keep you waiting. Yeah, yeah. Well, truth of the matter is, it's kind of late, and we're first getting started spraying. So. Yeah, and we've got to leave in a few days for Louisville, so we are going to go ahead and get this video out. You're watching, and we're gonna try and get another one out in a couple days. Uh, before we go, and then it'll be a, a little bit of a, a break, I guess. Yeah. Because we, we're taking vacation. We're going to Louisville. Going to be there. Enjoy uh, time with a lot of family and friends, as we call it, and just relax. And then we're going to come back and work hard for about three weeks, yes. get this thing together. Uh, my dad, mom and dad are coming home from Florida for the winter, so I'll have some help. Uh, your mom and dad are in Arizona. They work they'll for be, a couple weeks. They're coming, coming home. home. Gonna have all sorts of help, hopefully here. We'll have backup. Get this thing together as soon as we get the frame painted. Like it, it'll go quick. Uh, we've got a few big, big pieces I can paint while I'm actually putting things together. Do a few things at a at the same time. But stay tuned for the the next video, and this will be it. What do we got? We got a we got a like, subscribe. Wow. Please, please, please subscribe if you're watching this. This will help us out tremendously. Uh, and it's for all of you that have already done it. Thank you. We we appreciate the comments. We appreciate uh, any any feedback we get to to try and make the the videos better for for everyone. So I guess thank you. Like, like subscribe. subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Barry Trucking and. Barry Trucking and on the website, the website. at www.barrytrucking.com. Mm -hmm. Everything there. Uh, 
Yeah. Hope you uh, guys are enjoying the content. Thanks for all they'll have right. reached out and made their comments. Yes. Whether they've called message, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We'll keep doing the best we can. All right. Let's get to purple. Yeah. All yeah, right. right. See you guys soon.